Lewis asks, uh, what would it take for crypto to get mainstream adoption? I'm talking boomers using it to buy, depends, something like Amazon, Google, creating a coin to use on their platforms. What you think, DZ? That's going to be a USDC rollout. Uh, if we get some sort of like low yield that really competes with bank accounts. And so I mm -hmm. think it'd be like through Visa, it'll probably be via phone. You know, you just, you won't even notice that it's happening. You're just like, mm -hmm. bing, I paid for my depends. <laughs> Don't clip that, please. I up, oh, oops, they wiped my butt. Uh, sorry, it was me <laughs> quoting uh, Joe Biden. No, he says, my butt's been wiped. Look that up. <laughs> Biden literally said that. Uh, but uh, yeah, uh, I think it will be a, a really cool app. Maybe it's Visa. Maybe it's... Mm -hmm. Maybe it's X, you know, I, I don't I don't know what it's going to be. Maybe it's just your local bank uh, rolling something out like this. But I think USDC, a USDT, DAI, something that doesn't exist today, I think it's going to have this like relatively low yield, 2%, 4%. But people are going to look at their checking account or their savings account. And it's going to be like, wait a minute, it's 0, 0.0 something? Well, why don't I put it in the thing that's like 2%, 4%? I have 10K in there. You know, I think uh, we get a lot of boomers who, they're going to value making four hundred dollars off ten thousand dollars. You know, they're they're going to value uh, their grandson having a thousand dollars in a savings account who's eight mm -hmm. years old who gains twenty five bucks because of two point five yeah. uh, APY. So I, I think it would be just a really good finance app that just has like a low yield for a stable coin. Yeah, and you know, stuff like that can happen overnight. You know, the new gen iteration of phones come out with the crypto wallets already integrated into them. And then just think about this. Let me give you all the business model. You, you've all been to Chuck E. Cheese before, right? Everybody's been to Chuck E. Cheese. What happens at Chuck E. Cheese? You put money in a machine and they give you tokens. Those tokens are then only used at Chuck E. Cheese. So now imagine Amazon utilized a similar strategy with an Amazon, some type of Amazon token. And then that token, imagine the utility that that token could programmably give you, whether it be free Amazon Prime, uh, discounts on certain you know items, or uh, the ability to, uh, DZ, I want to send you a gift card uh, for your birthday. I can just automatically send you that, you know, because the idea is that this technology allows people uh, to keep you in their ecosystem. So imagine I don't uh, know using a sliver of a coin to skip a commercial break. Oh, I Press never the thought button of on that. your remote control. And it just you know, deducts point one. Amazon well, luck. that's going back to the whole gaming industry. You know, they've kind of uh, revolutionized this. This, you know, I think in a way it's kind of ruined uh, online video games, this microtransaction, you know, culture. And you see how profitable that could be. So, yeah. So the ability to skip an ad on um, on a, a YouTube video or something. Wow. I didn't, I didn't even think about that. Um, 